just how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? And I'll be, be honest with you guys, the, the streams have been great recently. Like the past, I'd say the past two months, we have managed to keep all the drama and stupid shit out of this stream. This stream has been really entertaining on a daily basis. No. It's been a fun place where people can hang out and have, feel like a community. And that's because we've kept the drama out. It doesn't belong in here. Okay? And I am happy about that. I really like how things are going. I want to keep things going the way that they are going. Okay? The bottom line, guys, is... I hope that I can continue to be here and entertain you and be honest with you about games on a daily basis. You know, forever! As long as I want to do it, as long as I'm capable of doing it, I love this. Phil's always been a beggar. I told the truth, like I always do. We had someone overnight, Kay Jones, cheered 30 bits and said, Phil, one day I will do as promised $10,000 into your bank account. <laughs> yes. But of course. Well, let me, let me put it this way. That would be insane. That would be the most that anyone had ever contributed, ever, uh, you know. And that would be, obviously, would be greatly appreciated. I'm not looking for anything like that. I know you're lying. Um, and I certainly don't th ever expect that I'm ever going to get anything like that. That's pretty crazy. You know, people say, how much would it take for to get Phil out of, a, you know, a, being financially tight? Well, hey. $10,000. Oh my god! What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! Fuck you, you fucking greedy piece of shit. Go fuck yourself. You gotta remember, a third of that goes to the government. So essentially it would be $6,666. Would help me a lot. It actually wouldn't even get me out of my tax situation right now. Real talk, but it would help tremendously. You created the monster. You unleashed the monster, and now your complaint is, well, the monster's too powerful to control. Well, fuck you. That's your fault. It's disgusting, in my opinion. It's immoral. It's greed. It's greed. Greed is massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. So, it's nice that people even have these kind of nice notions, even if it might not be serious. Thank you for supporting Kay Jones. Thank you for the cheer. Thanks for being a, 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 a stream viewer, because I see you from time to time on the streams. Very nice and very appreciated your support. And the positive vibes. Thank you, sir. Uh, Olivisaurus cheered. He says, I know you really do not want to do it, but if you really need to, would you consider having the cheer sub and tips leaderboard on every stream? I know that it would be like a last resort, but that's the thought. I mean, let me put it this way. Right Today, I'm not doing it, right? As you guys can see, it's not up. Right now, you'd have top cheerer, 50 bits. Actually, it's 100 bits. I think it was last Rambo's the top cheerer of the day with 100 bits, right? Top tip, I don't know yet, because I haven't gotten to tips yet here. I'm reading everything off of Muxy here, but... um. A lot of people do it. A lot, I'm fully aware that a lot of people who full-time stream on Twitch have the leaderboards and stuff like that up all the time. In fact, a lot of people have way more than me. Some people don't even have the game full screen. The game's, like, minimized in a corner, and then they've got, like, all their promo stuff all around the stream, advertisements constantly and all that. I would never go that far. All right. You would never see me constantly have ads playing and stuff around the borders of the stream or anything like that. For me, it's all about the gameplay, right? That's what I'm focusing on, the gameplay. Yes, interactions are cool, too. L minimum effort. Minimum money and time involved, maximum profit. Quick buck, quick buck, quick buck. I made a ridiculous fuck ton of money. The money is mine, and I want the money. Anything for this, right? But, you tune into one of my streams, you know it's gonna be about me experiencing a game, not me promoting stuff every five seconds and trying to make money every 20 seconds, okay? Um... But, you know, there's some people who have things like top tier, top chit, top tip, and they auto-update, and some people even have text-to-speech and stuff like that. I'm never gonna go that crazy. I'm not. I'm trying to do, I, I, I understand, I, I like to call it a necessary evil. Yes, I do need to do fundraising during streams in order to pay my bills, because this is my job, and I need to keep stuff going, right? I need th that money, I really do, I need that money to pay my bills. But, I also want to have a balance. You guys got to remember that people who watch this stuff are also watching on YouTube. 
And yes, YouTube is less now of a, of a big concern for me than it is on Twitch, which is my major focus. But YouTube is still a big major part of my income, all right? So that being said, I do have to cater to those people. People on YouTube do not give a shit about cheer subs or tips because they're not here live, okay? So they already have to put up with shout outs they already have to put up with the animations playing you know now having a leaderboard on a narrative based game like this game today or if, imagine if i did it during detroit right um probably would have been very jarring and very uh, disorienting and very annoying so i only would do it i only would have the leaderboard up all the time all right if it absolutely were necessary it's still 100 percent hypocritical it's like the biggest hypocritical thing on the planet i mean it's out, out of control he is a hypocrite for for saying the stuff he said okay very, very, very hypocritical. <laughs> Pretty hypocritical, I agree. For some reason, you know, things weren't going so well, which they are right now, I have no complaints. Like I said, things are going really well. But if things weren't going so well, and I absolutely needed to do it to try to entice people to cheer sub or tip on streams, then I would bring it up all the time. But I don't want to. I don't want to, I don't want to get to that point. I want to be someone who is primarily focused on having fun and, and playing the games and, and you know, that rather than I have to constantly be worrying about top tier, top tip, top this, top that, top, 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 And next thing you know, you know, the whole stream. You know, the entire stream ends up being bullshit, you know, promotion, money, money, money. I'm salivating at the goddamn mouth. I don't want that. I want it to be fun. I'm good at lying. <laughs> Okay, you know, a fun, positive place to hang out, have a community, chat it up with people who you recognize, have fun watching me play games, and we all interact, you know. And then the money comes, yes, it comes naturally. That's how I want it to be an organic, an organic experience, not a forced experience. The people who, sadly, are kind of weak-minded would say, Oh, I'm now part of this online group, and I feel special, so I gotta support that guy. I gotta watch every video, I gotta... Send money, I gotta buy product, I gotta burp it up, burp it up, because I'm part of that group, right? Phil's a scam artist. Uh, shout out, wow, not wow, thank you, I did not know this. Someone tip tipped me a hundred dollars anonymously. Ha 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 thanks for the money, stupid fuck. Thank you to whoever just tipped me a hundred dollars anonymously. They said, sure you can, shall we get you a 4K TV, PS4 Pro, and Xbox One X? Well, in reality... Your $100 will go to pay my bills that I already have existing. But I do appreciate the $100 tip very, very much. Um, thank you very much for that. It's going to help tremendously. Like I said, tipping, I get that money right away. No lie, right after the stream ends, I'm depositing that into my bank account to pay bills. So thank you for that very much, okay? Now, one thing I would like to say. If there is anyone out there who is interested in donating... Like, I want to, you know, Phil has so many audio issues, I'm interested in donating Phil a PS4 Pro, right? Or, you know, Phil, you know, his controller broke, and I'd like to donate a new controller. Or, oh, you know, this game is coming up, and Phil hasn't really talked about it, but maybe I'd be interested in seeing Phil play it. Maybe if I donate it, he'll play it. I, I, I'll like to ask him about it. If you are interested in anything like that, what you should do is email me at darksidephilahotmail.com, and we'll talk a little bit about it, and we'll work it out, all right? The bottom line is, your contributions on streams have to go to pay my bills. Real talk, I can't, you know, I cannot uh, take your, your pledges and your donations and everything on stream, and I cannot just use it to buy stuff. I can't. I have to pay my existing bills with it. Or else I won't be able to pay my taxes and I'll lose my house this year. All right. So real talk, that's where it has to go. But if you specifically want to, to donate one particular thing, like this guy saying, oh, an Xbox One X or a PS4 Pro, right? Then contact me. We'll talk about the details. It's, it's gross. It's for this. It's not because they love what they're doing. It's not because for the love of the game or because they're true gamers. It's for this. And this is what it's become. It's not about putting out a quality review. It's not about putting out a quality playthrough or quality stream. It's about making this. There are ways, like for example, last year when my Switch broke, I bought a Switch at launch, the fucking thing broke in the first day. All right, how stupid is that, right? Someone contacted me and said, I feel bad your Switch broke. I wanted to see you play Switch games this year. I'll donate a Switch. And what they did is they bought a Switch off of Amazon and they had it direct shipped to me. And that's how I got my Switch and that's how I play all these games on the Switch, you know? So... You know, that's very possible. If, that, if you're a, a generous person who wants to do that, you got to contact me directly to talk about it, all right? Because 
like I said, I, I appreciate anyone who contributes on streams, but I gotta put that towards my bills. Anything you guys send me via that that method. All right. Plugs, plugs, plugs. Help me, help me. Money, money, money. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Texas test tube. Let me 25 bit cheer with an insulting message, which I will read anyway. Stop being a drama queen. Over dramatic, drama queen, toxic. You got people who just cannot stay out of the drama. All right. And this is real talk. There's people who just can't stay out of the fucking drama. 36 years old now, guys. I don't care about this drama crap anymore. All right. Dramatic, toxic content. He says, why do you take people's money, but not their criticism? Uh, I take criticism all the time. I take criticism, both positive and negative. And I, I weigh and balance it. Uh, many things that I've done over the years, direct changes, events that I've done have been directly based off of suggestions or criticism from my viewers and fans. The problem is, what you're talking about as criticism I don't take is not true criticism. When someone is just being fucking nasty and insulting, and basically, you know, saying things that are not true about me, or just regurgitating a parroted insult that's all over the internet. That's not criticism, stupid. Why am I toxic? My mouth is full of salt. That's, that's slander. That's def defamation. You are wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong! There's a big difference between legit criticism on how to improve and repeating a negative meme to get your laughs. And sadly, people like you don't know the difference. Um, and that's the problem, is having a whole mob mentality of idiots who don't know what legit criticism is. I'm totally open to legit criticism. Many people have criticized me, and I've directly responded and changed for the better. Wrong! Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. Right? Look at all the th ways that I've changed <clears throat> in, over the past few years. So, uh, yeah, you are incorrect. And, uh, you know, thanks for the insult. Always appreciate a, a, a defamatory, totally, you know, skewed insult. <laughs> you gotta listen to me and not listen to the people who spin what I say. All right, shout out to, wow, ultimate boss. 45134 just did a 2500-bit cheer. You are my bitch. Thank you for the free money, dummy. And you can lick my balls. Third Eye the Third cheer, 51 bits. He says, if you had to pick top three things that you've approved about yourself in the last years as a human being... What? And as a streamer, I personally don't think I've improved as a person in the last five years. I feel like I just hear less and less about things. Well, that's, that's kind of a sad, uh... What's the word? Cynical? Probably a cynical, more cynical attitude. Um, what you're describing. For me... In the last thing, the, the top three things I've improved at, number one, I would say I do a much better job at this point of walking in someone else's shoes and seeing from another perspective. When I started... That's 100% a lie and is 100% wrong. On YouTube, I was a very obstinate, stubborn asshole. I felt that what I what I thought was the, was, was the one way was the right way no matter what. My belief was correct. Your belief was wrong. I'm smart, you're dumb, if you don't agree with me, you know, that was kind of how I was. And a lot of people liked that, they're like, wow, Phil's like a real dick, you know, when he plays games, he'll insult the game devs and he'll do these things, and, uh, you know, he's a character, and we like him for that, right? Um, you know, the past few years in particular, I very much have learned to be way more open-minded, I've played a bunch of games that I used to have biases against, I mean, one that comes to mind is Minecraft in particular, that I used to always insult people, who played it, and then when I finally played it, my eyes were kind of opened, and I was like, oh shit, I've been an asshole all these years, the game actually is quite interesting and, and addictive and fun. Um, you know, and, and basically, you know, now listening more to feedback, and listening more to when people say, oh no, you should check this out, or you should maybe change this up, or do this or that, I, I do consider everything when it used to be, it's my way or the highway, I know what I'm doing, I don't need your input, I don't need your feedback, I very much now am more open to that kind of stuff, okay? Uh, number two, I now do my best to not make my content toxic and what i mean by that is i try not to go on crazy ass insulting rants all the time i try to keep that nastiness away from my streams and my content when a lot of the times in the past that used to be all about that it used to be uh, you know let's let's get a crazy negative rants let's insult people let's do this and that constantly and i don't want to do that anymore you know i've changed as a gamer yeah i'm a gamer i don't want that to become the be all end all of my content um i want it to be entertaining and fun and have people feel like they can come here and have a good time rather than come here to just see some some bitter guy you know explode and by the way it's not foolproof it happens from time to time i'll still go on a rant i'll still say something really stupid 
You know, it still happens. But, you know, it's something that's, in, in, you know, a lot less than it used to be. You know what I mean? Like, it used to be very different, um, around this, uh, these places. Um, and number three, the biggest change, interactivity. Like, you guys now see I interact with you constantly on a daily basis. It used to be me basically kind of sitting in an isolation booth, right? It would be like, you could pretend you were sitting next to me on a couch and I was playing a game and doing commentary, but you would never get any direct interactions. Now, if you're on my streams, there's a good chance you'll get a direct interaction with me, right? Uh, when in the past, it wasn't about that at all. It was, I gotta play the game, I'm hyper-focused on the game, the game, the game, the game. Now it's more about having, a, uh, yes, the game, but also an interactive feel with those who are watching me play live as well. So, some pretty big changes. Some pretty huge changes, right? Oh, hold on. Two, quick, two. Did a 50 bit cheer and say quick buck, quick buck, quick buck. I rant bought into a gimmick because I'm stupid. Quick buck, quick buck, quick buck. I, I don't know what you're re referencing, but thank you for the cheer. So there you go. You're the top cheerer now. Yes, orcs or dorks, I did hear LTG got banned from Twitch again. Uh, and I know the whole situation, it's messed up. People basically trolling the guy really bad. You know, from someone who's been trolled ridiculously over the years, he got hardcore trolled for just basically just being a little bit too, uh, too, too believing that people would be nice to him, I guess. Let's put it that way. You know, he had an overlay on his stream that basically for everyone who followed him, it would actually show their profile pic and say, thank you for the follow. You know? So it was a really nice thing on his behalf. However, people took that opportunity to make new troll accounts with dick pics as their profile pics, and they spam followed him, so his stream had, like, dick pic, dick pic, dick pic. And he got freaking reported and banned again. That's messed up, dude. Save the pig. <laughs> what the heck? A pig with a party hat. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggy. Ziggy Piggy. Save the pig, the game. The whole game you're trying to save the pig's life. Hell! No! That's not how life works. No. Sorry. That's not how, how it really works. Holy crap, some people are just have this crazy, like... They live in this weird fantasy world, I guess, is the best way to describe it. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to god I wish I fucking was.